Thank you everyone for coming. My name is Aja Atwood. I'm the CEO and one of two co-founders of Chala Technologies. Um, it's amazing to be here, such great companies, um, you know, tough act to follow. That was a really cool thing to check out. Um, we're also part of the SolidWorks Entrepreneurship Program. Um, so all of the forum labs, everything that we're doing is very beneficial and we're proud to be a part of it. Um, thank you again uh, for letting us talk about why we decided to grow tall plants in small spaces and how we came up with the Trello Grow LSD. You see, I'm an engineer, I'm an entrepreneur, this is my third startup, and I'm also a medical cannabis patient. And while learning how to grow my own medicinal plants in my basement, I came up against a, a major problem. You see, I traveled a lot. I was managing a group of engineers from Maine all the way down to Washington, D.C., which meant that I was not in the house. I was not able to maintain my grow. They were excellent solutions to automate and control my temperature, my humidity, the climate. There were solutions to automatically control water delivery, nutrients. But the one thing that I could not control was how tall the plants actually grew within my basement. I'm limited by height, which means I have to go down there and train the plant to grow and keep it low so that it doesn't hit the lights and cause an issue with yield, quality, and also potentially fire. So I, I got together with my now co-founder, Andre Strachamaro, he's outside. We both met at Northeastern University and we said there's gotta be a way to do this. Um, but before we got into trying to find a, an alternative solution to the manual problem, we ran into an angel investor who said, pause, figure out whether or not there's actually a market there for not just you, but for someone else. And one of the things that we quickly found out was that the existing indoor vertical farming industry has a similar problem. They're constrained by height as well. If you've seen things such as the things I'm showing on the screen in freight containers, container farming, in urban warehouses where they're doing, um, trying to you know, provide sustainable solutions for food deserts, you see that they normally stack those plants one level on top of another, which means eventually you're going to run out of height. But you only see lettuce, sh um, short herbs, things that are very short in those facilities. We wanted to figure out a way to get tall plants in there as well. So what we decided to come up with was a way to automatically train a tall plant to grow sideways, to grow horizontally. It's a patent pending design. It's the first of its kind. It's never been seen before. We're patent pending in the US and internationally as well. Um, on the left, you can see our graphic design, but you can also see our current model. Um, that's the beginning stage of the plant. And at the right, you can see the end right before harvest. And that's eventually what we, what we wanna get to. How do we get to that point? Well, using automation, we start the plant on the left as the plant grows through that green ring on the top, there are sensors in there sensing the rate of growth. If the plant wants to grow fast, that ring will move accordingly. If the plant moves slow, the ring will move slow. Eventually, it gets all the way to the end. When we get to the end, we remove that top panel and we let all those, all those branches stretch up towards the light. And that's the time when we're, we're waiting for flowering. And it's a very simple process. Plants automatically want to train themselves and grow towards the light, so we just simply let them do that. One of the things that we thought about as well as when we were trying to target a market is we understand everyone's heard the news about the cannabis industry, the hemp industry. It's a multi-billion dollar industry, but also the indoor farming and the vertical farming industry is a multi-billion dollar industry as well. So we really wanted to try to put ourselves in a position to help them out. And one of the things, especially those cannabis companies that are, that are now have been in operation for more than one year, they're looking at their bottom line and trying to figure out how can we be sustainable? How can I be efficient? How can I reduce my labor costs? How can I reduce my energy costs? We wanted to make sure that our solution spoke to that as well. So with the automation and with our technique, we're able, actually able to increase the plant yield um, by 60%. On the graph that you're seeing right there, you see a blue and a yellow color. Those are both manual training techniques, but with our automated technique, we're able to get a great increase in yield. Additionally, due to the automation, we're able to lower operating costs with labor, reduce human error, contamination as well, and we're also able to do faster growing cycles because we're not stressing and, and trimming and pruning the plants excessively. Um, all in all, the best thing about it is that we're able to grow a wider variety of plants indoors. We're starting with cannabis, but our end goal is to be able to grow trees indoors. Imagine if we're able to grow trees at scale, what we can do uh, in regards to our carbon footprint. That's our main goal. Um, so if you haven't had the chance to check out our booth, we do have a video, a time-lapse video of showing one of our, um, our, our plants growing from start to finish. Uh, we also are on social media, follow us. If you go to trella.io, go down, we're on Facebook. You, and on YouTube, we have some really great new episodes of our latest design, Growing Plants. And finally, 
you can become an investor. We are doing what's called regulation crowdfunding. Um, it's SEC controlled. You can go to our online platform, look at our offering, and become an investor. You don't have to be an accredited investor. We're a community company. We wanted to make sure that the community had a way to be a part of our financial success as well. So please take some time to check us out. You can go to Trella.io as well and click invest. Um, love to hear your questions. Love to talk about this stuff. Thank you. So what we're doing is we're able to stack them on multiple levels. So now you're able to go in the vertical direction. Okay. Additionally, because we're doing what's called a low stress training technique, and low stress means you're not cutting, trimming, or pruning the plant. You're actually, um, when you cut, trim, or prune a plant, you create too much stress. The plant actually stops growing for about two to three days. So if you're growing at scale on a commercial level, you want you know, urgency, efficiency. You want to have a lot of harvest throughout the year. So when you're trimming and pruning like they're doing right now, um, they're actually slowing themselves down. So when you look at both the time and the footprint that we're able to do, we're really increasing yield on a, on a large scale. Yep. Yeah, uh, what kind of trees would you want to grow on a horizontal Peach tree, platform? peach tree. I want to try to recreate the fruit of my youth. I cannot find good peaches in New England. <laughs> if, we, if, we can, if we can diversify the types of plants that we can grow in different environments, then it's really going to open the door for a lot of people as well. Yeah. Great. Thank you very much.